Hello, I'm Pastor Hank. If you've got some time, I'd like to spend a few minutes with you. Because I think God wants you to know today that he loves you. I know I always say that. But, you know, sometimes it's just hard for us to believe because we know ourselves better than anybody else. But you know what? Truthfully, he does love you. And the Bible says that he loved you so much that he sent his son just to get you back, to get me back, to get all of us. He sent his son so that we could believe in him and that we wouldn't have to perish, but we could have everlasting life. Man, that's good news. Also, God is not just concerned with getting us to heaven. He's concerned with us while we're here, helping us in our everyday affairs, our everyday life, and he wants to be involved in every part of, of your life. You know, I don't know what you face, and I, I don't know what you're going through right now. Uh, I don't know what you'll face this week, but God does, and he already has your steps ordered. He already has your life planned and he wants to help you, and he wants to lead you in, 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 in all the things that he's got, to, into all the things that he's got for you. Uh, Jesus said before he left, that's why he was going to send the Holy Spirit back, to live in us, to lead us and guide us into all the truth that God has for us. We've been talking for several weeks about hearing that voice and hearing God. And, and you know, we all want to hear God, and we all we all think we do hear him sometimes but you know we we just need to be sensitive and and learn to hear because well if God knows everything about us and he knows everything we're going through and if he knows about it before we go through it then he probably could tell us something that would help us help us get through it help us uh, sometimes even help us avoid some of the stuff that we go through but you know the truth is God loves you and he's trying to speak to you. He's speaking all the time. It's just that sometimes we don't hear. And that's kind of what we've been talking about. Uh, you know, we think that maybe maybe we can just hear him once in a while or just when we're in a, in a jam or just, uh, you know, when there's a crisis in our life. Or, but, you know, God wants to speak to us all the time. And that's what we've been talking about for a few weeks. And so why don't we just join the service for a few minutes here and... Uh, and I, I'm believing God to say something to you that will help you and, and bless you. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. You know, God just, God just desires. He desires so much to be, to be big in our lives and so much to be the, uh, a part of every, every part of our life. And, and he, he just wants, to, he, he just wants to, to lead us into the good things that he's got for us. And I've been talking for several weeks on, on hearing his voice and, 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 and knowing which voice to hear and, and hearing the voice and, 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 and being led by the Spirit. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Ephesians tells us that, 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 that we were saved and he raised us up and he seated us with Christ in the heavenly places. And it says, it says that we were dead in our sins and trespasses, but he, he made us alive. And, and, and it says that we're his workmanship and that he created us to walk in the goodness that he's been preparing for us since the world started. And you know what? God wants to do spectacular big things in your life. And, and if that's hard for you to believe and hard for you to accept, don't worry about it. But, but don't turn it off. Don't, don't just shut that down. Because religion for so many years has taught us that, that, that to, 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 to take an offering up like this is wrong. To, to put an emphasis on, on, our, on our finances is wrong. Or, or to, 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 you know, somewhere religion has fed us a bill of goods that... That to be happy, if we're happy, we should feel guilty. But you know what? The joy of the Lord is supposed to be my strength. And the joy of the Lord is supposed to fill me. And I'm supposed to walk and when people look at me, they're supposed to be, see something different about me. Something so dynamic, something not, not in Hank, but something, a, a characteristic that's so powerful and so different and so exciting and so happy that they want some of that. And then we tell them, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. And so 
We're talking about letting him lead it, and I just want you to know because that's where he's going to lead you. That's where he wants to, to lead us. And you know how many think that he made all the good things of the world for ISIS? You don't know. He, he, made, he made the good things of the world for his kids. And he didn't make all those things so we'd be going after them and so we'd be desiring them and so we'd be trying to get them. And, and all. No, he, he just did it. He said, this is what he told Abraham. And if you read Galatians, we are heirs. We are the seed of Abraham because of Jesus Christ. And, 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 and we are heirs to the promises that he made. And, and he told Abraham, he said, I'm going to bless you and I'm going to make you be a blessing. And so that's why we want all that God has for us is so that we can share it, so that we can help each other, so that we can, you know, help some families that just need a little help this time of year. Uh, and I know there's probably some families in here that, that need that help. But you know what? If you help somebody else, God will see to it that you get helped. Amen. He's just wonderful. Isn't he? Well, just give him a hand. Just give him some praise. He's just wonderful. Oh, but you know what? We ought to, we ought to go through life with an expectancy that, that, that right, right the next step, God's going to do something great in our life. Just the next the next. The next facet of this thing, it's gonna, we're going to sense his presence and his, and his power in our life so great. Amen. He wants us to go through with an anticipation. And we ought, to be, we ought to be praising him for all we do have, not just spending all our time thinking about what we don't have. Amen. Being thankful. John 10, he's talking about being the shepherd. Talking about being the true shepherd and the, the good shepherd and... Uh, let me just read a, a few verses. But he who enters the door is the shepherd. He who enters the, by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Now he's talking to him. And now, now he, says, he says several, he repeats himself in this chapter several times uh, that, that we... That we should that he want, that that we should know him and we should hear him. Uh, verse three, he says, "To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice." Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of a stranger. In verse 14 he says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and I'm known by my sheep. Verse 27 he says, he says my sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me. I just wonder, you know, I just want you to know that he repeats this. And I, 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 was, I, I think that's all I'll read there for now. But, but, but he, why, why would he repeat this several times? Because it's of such an importance in our life, in every part of our life, to know him and to be led by him. Uh, you know, the enemy tries to come in and confuse us and, 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 and convolute what God says and, 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 you know, just twist it all around and just, just uh, you know, I'm learning that a lot of Christians, we, we don't even know what voice we're hearing. We don't even know what's leading us. Uh, so many... I'll just say of us, we, we don't even believe that we can really hear God. Uh, we don't believe that he can just personally direct our lives. Now think about it. 
We've all been this way before, and maybe, maybe some of us still are, but, but we, we act like that this is, a, this is a shot in the dark, this is a roll the dice, this is a, this is a, a make a stab at it, and, 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 and you know, man, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm lucky, God will hear me. If I'm, if I, if I'm really, if I'm good enough, he'll, he'll, he'll do something, he'll move in my life. If I, you know, and, and we don't even really know but he says here, my sheep know my voice. They know me. They know my voice. They know the difference between my voice and a stranger's voice. And I just say today, Holy Spirit, help me know the difference. I mean, you've got to pray that for yourself if that's what you want. But I'm just saying, help me know the difference because I can't make it without him I was telling I was doing something the other day and I said Lord I just can't do this without you I just I just can't make it through this without you I just can't I, there's just I just can't do it with that and I went on and on and on like that and then I heard a little voice inside come out here and said but you're not without me <laughs> see you're not without him you know, no matter what your flesh is telling you, no matter what your mind is telling you, if you can hear your spirit, your spirit's telling you, no, no, I'm right here. I'm not ever going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. I'm right here. Listen to me, and I'll lead you right out of this. I'll lead you right through this. I'll lead you into this. Do you understand the importance of, of, let, of learning to hear him and learning his voice? See, it isn't, just, it isn't just to straighten you up. I'm going to see how many liars we got in here. How many of you need a little straightening up? Oh, okay, 100% participation. All right, all right. Yes, amen, ditto, yeah. But, but, but and, 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 and thank God he corrects me and he leads me and he fixes me and 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 when I mess up I was I was talking to a couple of gentlemen a while ago and 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 hey they they've had some battles in life and 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 I said you know why don't you quit starting over why don't you just why don't you just quit thinking about when you're going to fall next and just start looking up and just start believing up and just start thinking, man, I'm going to make it. I'm just going to go forward with God. I'm just going to, God's good. He's good. And, and, but don't worry, if you, if you fall down, he always picks you up. That's not in question. But I'll tell you what, even if you fall down a few times, and some of us fall down a whole bunch of times, you'll find out every time you get up, you're a little bit stronger. You're a little bit stronger. Got a little more in there. Got a little more in there. But he not only wants to fix us and straighten us up, he wants to lead us into some things. Huh? See, see, if, you're, if, if all your life, all you're doing is thinking how you're a dirty old rag and somehow he's going to clean you up, well, listen, he cleaned you up on Calvary. Huh? He, he went to the cross and cleaned us up and, and fixed us. And now he still works with us, thank goodness, and helps us. And, 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 and he, uh, Ephesians, Corinthians says, says he, he, Romans, he says, says he's conforming us into the image of his dear son. So he keeps doing that, thank God. But, but you know what? He'd like to lead you into some stuff along the way. Anybody here have a business? Do you think maybe do you think maybe he'd like to lead you in to some more business? Do you think maybe he'd like to show you show you some avenues? You know, and don't and don't don't raise your hands on any of this, but how many you're just up against it financially? You just you just you know it just got a hold on you. Don't you think he'd like to lead you out of that? And lead you into some of his goodness? Sure he would. Sure he would. But I don't know about you, but sometimes I get so busy looking at the mountain. I get so busy looking at the wind and the storm that I start to sink. 
I get so busy thinking about what I don't have, I don't realize to thank Him and praise Him for what I do have. Well, it's so important. See, He wants to lead us in every area of our life. Thank goodness He wants to straighten us up. Uh, <coughs> uh, and I need straightening, and so do you. I need fixing, and so do you. But you know, he he just liked to he just liked to show me. How. I mean, he you know George Washington Carver wasn't wasn't the only the only pencil in the in the holder there. And George Washington Carver said said Father, I want to learn about the universe. And he took him in a room and and made him stay there, and he taught him about a peanut. And we're still doing hundreds of things with the peanut because of what God showed him. See, see, maybe God would like to do something spectacular in your life. You say, well, I don't know, but I just not, you know, well, let, you, you got to hear the right voices, okay? And, the, and a big problem is m- many of us don't believe that he'd talk to us personally. But, but, but let, me, let me show you verse 3 here. What does verse 3 says? He calls his own sheep by name. I just, I just saw that this morning, so I underlined it in my Bible. And He calls us by name. <laughs> he says, yes, Hank, I care about Tracy, and I care about Troy, and I care about Kenny, and, and I care about Dee, and I care about all. But, but, but Hank, I'm talking to you. I want to do something in your life. Well, and I guess the whole point of that is just to to maybe help somebody believe, hey, God wants to work with you. He wants to work in your life. He wants a a, a personable, he wants he, he, a personal, intimate relationship with you. He can fix that thing that's bothering you if you quit letting it bother you. He can show you how to change your business and and roll over where the blessing is and where the prosperity is. He can show you the things in your life that are maybe stopping you. He can get you out of debt. We're going to talk about that soon too. He can get you out of debt, but you know what? Most of us don't stay enrolled in the program long enough to listen and and to do because he doesn't start to get you out of debt. He he doesn't make you win the lottery. Praise God if you do, and I'm just believing somebody here will win it, you know. But usually somebody wins it, and they don't believe in tithing or the kingdom or nothing else, and, and so none of it does any good anywhere, but... But it's not that you win the lottery and that you have an influx of money because he'll start off showing you and telling you where you're spending it wrong. You know how you get out of debt? You quit spending more than you make. That's really hard. And that's hard to listen because we won't listen to our spirit. We listen to our flesh because I've got to have that Starbucks three times a day. I've got to have it. You just don't know how I get if I don't have my coffee. (laughs) Well, I just said that because I don't like Starbucks. So, you know, (laughs) but you put whatever, whatever your thing is in there. I didn't intend to get on all this, but I just say, hey, you know, you just have to believe that he wants to help you. And he knows right where you are. And if you'll listen real close, he'll speak to you the things. He'll speak to you the things that that you need to hear, and he'll lead you in and out. So you have to believe it. And, and, And the first thing, the first thing you just have to do is you just have to take a stand of faith. We had a cell group leaders meeting this week, and man, what a meeting. Boy, it was powerful. And and but but James Poe, Kenny asked James to pray at the end, and 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 Kenny and and James said something. He said, while he's praying, he said, I am your sheep, and I do hear your voice. And and I thought, you know, that's the very first thing you have to do. 
You just have to make a decision, and then you have to just make a, de 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 a declaration. You have to really believe that it works, really believe that you can, and that the words of Jesus can change your life, and you just got to say it out loud. I am a sheep, and I do hear his voice. I know his voice. He leads me by his voice. And I follow him. See, you just have to make your mind up and start. We just stay in this, in this, in this middle ground here where we're just kind of like a reed and we're just blown back and forth. Hold it. No, I am. I was asking God for something. I needed some wisdom the other day and I caught myself going, oh, please, God, please. You know, and then that just came to me and I said, hold it. No, I said, I'm your sheep. And I hear your voice. And you can tell me what, what I need to know. And so I just give this to you and I just went on. And you know, it just wasn't very long until I had, I had the wisdom I needed for the situation. Well, he desires that. Revelations 3.20, he says, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens it, I'll come in with him and dine with him and he with me. He made it plain to us that he'll speak to anyone who will listen. He'll speak, to, he'll speak to any of us who give him access. And I've learned that it's easier for me just to say, well, I just don't know what to do. I just can't hear the God. I just don't know if that's the Lord or not. It's easier for me to say that than it is for me to get down with God and say, hold it, God, i got to have an answer from you, and I'm not getting up until I get it. Oh, what if I have to stay an hour? Hmm. See, the, the thing, the, the point is, the answer, the answer to everything in your life is, is, is to be led by the Holy Spirit. To be led by God's Spirit. That's the answer to everything in your life. And, and so, so, you know, uh, uh, and let, let me just say this, the, the object, the, the point, the point isn't to just get what you're asking for. I mean, the point isn't to just get what you need. The point is to be led. Do you understand that? It, it, you know, it, it just, just if you need the wisdom, if you need this or that, and you're asking God to show you that, that the, the point isn't, the point isn't to get that, get that need the point is to start being led by his spirit I had a friend in Arkansas that taught me the car business back in the 80s and he was an old man and 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 the old man he, he he just he just had made millions but if you saw him every day he was like in his 70s then and 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 if you saw him every day he just got up every day and he wore old old khaki pants and, and big old ugly shoes and, and a ball hat. And, and, I mean, the man could have wore the fanciest clothes in the world, but, but he just got up every day and he just went out and he started doing something. He started trying to find an old car to buy. If he had one, he started fixing it up. If he had it fixed up, he started trying to find somebody to sell it to. And, and the point I'm trying to make is it wasn't his, his motivation wasn't to make the money, his, his motivation was the ability to make it. And see, see the, 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 the point is, hey, thank God, if I'm being led by His Spirit, I'll get the things I'm needing and things I'm believing for and all that. But, 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 but don't get sidetracked with the needs. Don't get sidetracked with the stuff. The important thing is that I'm being led. Because if, if I can hear your voice... And by the way, let me just say this. He's always talking. We're just not always listening. And when I don't listen to him for long enough, he'll quit talking until I'm ready to listen. And, 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 and so, so he's always talking. So like I said last week, we need to fine-tune that set in and that, that TV set, fine-tune it and 
you have to want him. You have to want this. You have to want God more than you want prosperity. You have to want God more than you than you want your business to work. You have to want God more than anything else. You have to go after him with all your heart. <clears throat> you just have to get to the place where you say, I just don't care what happens, God. I'm with you. I'm for you. I don't care what what the enemy tries. I don't care what I have to go through, man. I am for you, and you're leading me. And no matter what happens in my life, you'll lead me through it. You'll lead me under it. You'll lead me over it, around it, somehow. But no matter what happens, you'll make it all work for my good because I love you, and I'm called to your purpose in my life. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I, I always just try to say something that will help you. Uh, I just believe the key to, to being successful in life for us to live in, in victory is for us to be able to hear the Lord. Uh, you know, that's not something that we just wake up one day and, and all of a sudden we're hearing him. No, that's something that we work at and he teaches us. We train our spirits and we, we begin to hear him. And this message was entitled, Are You Listening? And, uh, you know, we were only able to show just a little part of the service, but if you'd like the whole, the whole message, uh, I'd love to send it to you. Just, just contact us, let us know, and, and we'd be happy to send it to you because I, I just want to help you. I just want you to be closer to God. And I believe that's the key, you know. This isn't just a random thing that we hear him once in a while. He wants to talk to us all the time, to the big things in our life and the little things. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know somebody... He's been talking to you while you've been watching this because there's somebody listening to me that, that you don't know the Lord. You've never asked him into your heart. And, you know, the key, the key to, to, to hearing God and, and walking with him is to have Jesus in our heart. And I don't know who you are, but if you, if you don't know that you're saved, I want to say a, a little prayer with you right now. And I know something in you is wanting to be saved. You're wanting to be right with God. And so if you would just bow your head with me right now and I just want to say this little prayer for you. And if you'll say it out loud, just say it with your mouth and believe it. Something will happen inside of you. So right where you are, let's pray. Just say, Father, I want to be saved. I know you sent your son for me. So I receive him right now because I want to be with you forever. But I want to live for you God while I'm here and so I ask you to fill me with your spirit so that I can walk with you and for you I thank you father for saving me and I thank you for filling me with your spirit and I pray this in your name Jesus amen hey if you if you prayed that prayer and really meant it I just believe God saved you if you prayed that prayer why don't you just give me a call? Uh, I'd like to send you some information that will help you get on your way with the Lord, okay? Help you get in the Bible, help you, help you get started. And uh, you're, you're in for an exciting time. You're in for an exciting walk. And, and uh, maybe, maybe somebody, maybe you wanted to pray that prayer, but you didn't. When you, when you call us, why don't you just tell that counselor, hey, I'd, I'd just like to be saved. Would you, would you say that prayer with me? And they'll be happy to do it. I believe it's important that you go to church. Uh, you know, it's just important to be around other believers, to be around people who believe in the Lord. Uh, it's, it's not a thing where we have some kind of thing. I don't know about you, when I was little in Sunday school, every time we showed up, we got a star by our name. But that, that isn't what it's about. No, it's a place the Bible says that as the end comes, as the end draws closer, that we should... We should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together because we are able to edify each other and build each other up. And I don't know, many of you watching, maybe you don't go to church anywhere. If you don't, I'd like you just to invite you to come down to Central and just, just see what God's doing here and just be part of what he's doing. Uh, it's important to you. It's important for your growth. It's important for, for you uh, to be strengthened and and so, you know, I just believe everybody needs to, needs to be in a part of a local church. I believe everybody needs a pastor. And if, if you don't have a pastor, I'd like to be your pastor.
hey, I, I just uh, enjoyed spending time with you today, and, and I thank you that you would take the time to listen. And I'm believing God to do something great for you this week. I'm believing you to have one of the best weeks you've ever had. And so till next time, I just want to say, hey, I, I love you. And more important than that, I want you to know God loves you.